Yes, sir. It's your boy TC Talks. TC Fitness. Oh Lord, we here, baby. 300 days. Semen retention. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Today's video, as I walk to the gym, it's only right that I uh, make this quick video for y'all and talk to y'all about my retention experience, bro. These past 300 days, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Let's go, bro. This shit powerful. I ain't gonna lie. I feel very, very good. Um, a huge shout out to everybody that's been supporting the channel. A huge shout out to all the new supporters on the channel. If this is your first time to my channel, welcome. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, make sure to give the video a thumbs up so that we do get on the algorithm. And we help more people that's on their semen retention and no fab experience, bro. Now, the first thing I'm going to tell y'all off the rip is that in order for you to, you know, conquer longer days on semen retention, you got to really take semen retention serious, bro. This is not a game, bro. This is not something that you just half-ass with. This is not something that you just try out temporarily and you feel like you about to get all the amazing benefits. This is something that you're applying to your life on a day-to-day -day basis and you must take it serious, bro. This is something that's gonna help you level up mentally, physically, you know, spiritually, emotionally. It's gonna level up your finances. It's gonna keep you more focused on your goals, bro. It's going to keep you more focused on how can I improve my life? What can I do to help myself improve my life, bruh? What wasn't I focusing on? You know, like, what was distracting me in the past? You feel me? What can I focus on now in the present moment that I know is going to help me elevate? You know? And, and help me grow as a human being. You feel me? When you have, when you have discipline... When you have discipline, especially with your sexual energy, you are a very, very, very focused individual, all right? You yourself are a very, very, very powerful human being in this world, you feel me? But you have to learn how to understand that and realize that within yourself, bruh. Nobody outside of you in this reality can tell you or show you how powerful you really are, but you, you know? But let me tell you right now, a couple things, right? Number one, you gotta learn how to forgive yourself. Forgive yourself, forgive anybody that's been putting out negative energy towards you, you know? Forgive yourself for not knowing about the importance of holding on to your life force energy, you feel me? Forgive yourself for not knowing the importance of not touching yourself and not watching the sights. Forgive yourself. Because in this society, they program and brainwash humans to do the negative and think that it's positive, bruh. And then they want to sit there and downplay you for doing something positive, bro. It's very, very weird. You know what I'm saying? But I'm here to tell you right now, man, you have to reverse the psychology on yourself, bro. And you have to condition, constantly condition yourself to... Be better than your old self, you know? Um, let me see, what else, man? Let me see. I wanna share this with y'all too, right? You have to love yourself. And when I say that, I mean that. I really do mean that, bro. You have to love yourself and you have to not be so worried about opinions, right? Now, opinions, can either make or break a person if somebody says something negative about you and you really start to believe that internally you will then project that energy out into the external world right you would then start to feel as if this person outside of me has more power over me than i do because of how they felt about you you know i told um one of the bros had asked me, like, yo, TC, how did you get on, you know, so, so long of a streak? And I let him know. Number one, you got to take this serious. And then number two, 
it's more so about like i said like so much things in this world don't really matter bro there's a lot that don't matter like when i say when i say opinions i mean if somebody has an opinion on your outfit right they might tell you yo i don't like your outfit why does that even matter why does it matter you know or somebody can tell you uh whatever bro whatever it has something to do with negative any type of negative energy to sit towards you it should not consume you you feel me it should not make you feel as if that is you because it is not you know all of us as human beings in this reality bro and look at this i'm walking to the gym and i'm talking to y'all in you feel me in the public and it's not bothering me you know but all of us all of us in this world all of us in this reality we all have a inner light we all have an inner power right we all have if you close your eyes and you walk with yourself you can see your inner light within you know but you got to really be in tune with your vessel like that you know what i'm saying and um your inner light wants to shine you know that's why that's why when you want when you want retention you know what i'm saying when you want no fat you're definitely gonna be way more confident in yourself and way more confident in your abilities you know what i'm saying i tell y'all all the time me i don't have the need to wear jewelry i don't have the need to dress to impress people i don't have the need for none of that bruh i'm literally comfortable in my own skin i'm comfortable in my own being and i'm really tapped in on my inner power bro you know when you're when you live from the soul and you don't feed the ego 24 7 i'm not saying they're telling you like oh detach from the ego like nah bro that's really fake bro you can't detach from the ego bro because the ego is with you all day but you have to learn how to ease it at times you feel me and don't let it you know don't don't let your ego get the best of you basically but when you live from the soul right when you start doing what really makes your soul happy i want y'all to see how it is out here too this is this is another reason why I like i'm so driven to move out in new york and know like because this is garbage out here bro look at this look at this bro look at this look at this look at this this is yeah this is tough out here but when you learn to live from the spirit and you just keep on doing what makes you know your inner spirit happy the universe always always rewards you at all times you feel me like that's one thing that you won't ever have to worry about is being rewarded for your work you know the universe is always having your back you know what i'm saying that's why it's very important for you to tap in on that side and understand how connected to the source you really are you know because we all are connected to the higher power you know what i'm saying it's just some people tap in on that higher power and, and some are afraid to tap in on that higher power you know what i'm saying um another thing too you have to master is well another thing you you have to master on this journey is um habits habits and routines you know these past 300 days i've really built pure positive habits you know pure positive routines i'm constantly working on myself on a day-to-day -day basis i'm not giving myself any excuses as to why i can't work on myself or why i can't improve you know um i've been very 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 like mellow and chilled with myself you know what i'm saying i just been in my power a lot you know uh it's it's constant repetition you know what i'm saying like when you practice and you practice and you practice you eventually get better at it you know so for those of y'all that might be in your beginning stages of semen retention you got to keep practicing it you know what i'm saying you have to allow the vessel to get tired of releasing and allow the vessel to start wanting to retain the energy and keeping it within you feel me like you got to really pay attention to your vessel bro like that's what i do every day you know i'm constantly paying attention to my vessel i'm allowing the energy to flow you know what i'm saying i'm living in my power you know i'm making sure i'm working out because that's one thing that you cannot sleep on you have to work out the vessel you get one vessel to spend the rest of your life in so if you're not working out if you're not you know what i'm saying eating good foods if you're not drinking water if you're not stretching if you're not making sure you're feeding your mind you feel me if you're not making sure you're feeding your spirit then what you doing bro you know like life does not come with a manual there are things that you have to do in order to self-improve and then you have to enjoy and embrace the journey of self-improvement bruh it's not about 
I'm afraid to self-improve or I'm afraid to trust the process. Bro, you have to you have to trust the process. It is the process that God is pouring you through, bro. It is the process that the most high God is pouring you through. So the most high God is gonna remove a lot out of your life that was holding you back, and then the most high God is gonna bring better things into your life that is gonna help you ascend in this world, bro. You feel me? The most high God is gonna bring things into his life. He's gonna he's gonna allow people, you know, to enter your reality that may help you level up. You know what I'm saying? And he's gonna allow you to just Focus, really focus on being your best self, bro. You know, like when you feel free, when you finally feel free instead of chained in your mind or chained within, and you finally feel, you know, free and good, bro. The universe shows you how powerful you really, really are, bro. As within, so without. So you gotta always work on the inner world, bro. You gotta always build the inner world, or else this outer world is not gonna ever change, bro. It's never gonna change. If you do not work on the inner, if you do not do the work, the shadow work, you know, the, the healing of the traumas, and, the, and the, you feel me? All of what you've been through, if you don't constantly, you know, tell yourself, like, nah, no matter what, I gotta I got put in the work. I gotta do this, I gotta do that. If you're not constantly telling yourself that, this outer world, bro, it's over, bro. It's not, it's not gonna change, you know? But if you change within, and you keep changing that in the world, and you keep building that self-confidence, and you keep loving yourself, you know what I'm saying? And you keep on, you know, believing in your inner power and tapping in with God on a day-to-day, -day, because I keep telling y'all God is within, you know what I'm saying? This outer world is gonna show you how number one, abundant it really is, right? And how number two, you are in full control of this reality, right? Everything that you do, everything starts with a thought. You feel me? Before you do something, you think about doing. Before I made this video, I thought about making this video. You know what I'm saying? Before I'm about to go to the gym, I thought about going to the gym. You know? So whatever you do in this reality, you're thinking about it first. And then you're putting in the action, bro. So think more positive thoughts and think of doing more positive things that's going to help you out. And watch how this, this out of reality changes, bro. I'm telling you, it's all going to make sense. You know what I'm saying? Like I tell y'all, self-discipline, self-love, you know, self-respect, you feel me? Don't have too much freaking pride and ego, you know? Live from the spirit, live from within, do what makes your spirit happy. Stay consistent, stay consistent, bruh. And nothing can stop you. No outside force can stop you. No nothing, bruh. Nobody can stop you, bruh. Only you, that's it. You know what I'm saying? So keep working on yourself on a day-to-day -day basis. Don't ever give up on the journey. Don't ever quit. Don't ever think negative. Just constantly think positive and allow the universe to work in your favor, bruh. True say. But I'm about to hit the gym right now. As y'all can see, we out here. Got to the gotch. About to put this work in. So make sure you hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new to the channel. Shout out to everybody retaining. Shout out to everybody staying focused on their no fab journey. I've been enjoying this process, bro. I, I, I thank the most high God every single day. You know what I'm saying? And I appreciate all of y'all. Make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new to the channel. Hold on! It's your boy TZ Talks. Yes, sir!